now that we've got our part all blued up and we're waiting for it to dry, let's take a moment and talk about um, what it is that we're going to be laying out here. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be locating all of our features from this front view on the print. So that'll mean we'll have intersections scribed where all of our hole locations will be. And we're going to be coming off of the surfaces that are referenced in the print. So what I mean by that is this hole right here that's one inch diameter is an inch and a quarter over from this end of the plate and it is dimensioned from what I would call the top of the part down two inches whereas our pocket feature over here is also um, referenced from the top of the part down three quarters of an inch however its location is coming off of this edge right here you see this half inch dimension so it's being located in reference to this side of the part whereas our holes are from the right side of the part. Now where that becomes important is if your part is not exactly five inches long and you start doing layout lines off of one end only then you will have an error of whatever your your error is in your length of your part. Alright, so here I am. I have my print, my part, it's got the bluing on it. I've already cleaned and zeroed out the height gauge and I'm going to be using this little V-block as something to help stabilize my part while I'm scribing my lines across the surface of the part. What I can see with this part here is if I'm going to do the pocket layout first that my, my shortest distance of movement from the table up is going to be the edge of the part over and there's a half inch so I'm going to go ahead and sit on the end of my part and I'm going to raise up a half of an inch so there I am I'm at the 0.5 and I'm at the zero and I might be a thousandths off right here and that's okay because these are reference lines and then I will scribe across my part now I can see that the next smallest increment division would be there's a, uh, a three quarter inch reference where I will sit on this surface and I will scribe across here at three quarters of an inch. So I'll go ahead and raise up that three quarters. And I'll take my part, and this is where I have to be paying attention to make sure I'm actually orientating it how I need to. And I don't know exactly how far to scribe that, but I'm sure that'll cover my distance. Now, if I take a second and I look at my, my print, I will see that from the end that I'm sitting on, I have up half inch, I have a line marked, and then my pocket is an additional inch and a half tall. So an inch and a half plus a half of an inch is two inches. So I can raise up two inches. And I can scribe across the surface. Now, if I want to mark what will be the bottom of my pocket, I will go back and sit on the face that I originally went up three quarters of an inch and then I'll reference my print and it tells me the next line should be two and three eighths of two and three eighths of an inch up so I will have to add my three quarters plus 2.375 which is three, two and three eighths of an inch and that will give me 3.125 is my decimal so I'll raise my height gauge up to three inches, 125. 
now it's time for me to lay out the other side of the part and that, that'll be my whole features so what I'll do is first again I'll go ahead and come from the the end of the part and I'll come up the 1.250 one and a quarter inches that's 1.2 Five zero, and I'm just going to scribe where I think the hole will be so I don't get too many lines across my part so I know that'll that'll suit my needs. Now I'll go ahead and uh, rotate the part correctly paying attention to the what what was previously determined to be the top of the part and I know that from the top of the part what will be up now, but down from the top of the part um, is two inches. So I'll go ahead and crank this up two inches. Scribe across there. Now that will be the location of my center one inch hole. Now I've got my center hole located. And upon examination of the print, I see that the, the four holes that surround it are actually all referenced to that location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll go down 750. And I know I can scribe. Across there. And then I can go up 750, so that would be, on this top one, that would be 2.750. I can scribe across there. And then from referencing back from this end of the part, I would have to go from the table, which is zero, and then I have to go up my one and a quarter, which is right here. And then I can zero out this lower one. And I can go ahead and go back down 750. And then I can go back up to my one and a quarter, which is right here, and I can add 750 to that, which is 2 inches, and then I can scribe the intersection there. So all of these intersections are my hole locations, and this is my pocket. What would be a wise thing for me to do right now would be to take a scale and double check all of my lines with a very simple basic measuring device but if I'm off at all I'll be able to tell very easily so now that I have all my lines on my part I want to take a six inch scale and check them really fast and to do that I know that from the top of my part to the top of the pocket should be three quarters of an inch and that's what I see. I know my pocket is two and three eighths of an inch long and that's what I can see there. I know that it's a half inch from the end over location wise and I know it's an inch and a half wide and then looking at my hole locations I know that from the end to the center of my one inch hole it should be one and a quarter which it is. I know that from the top down to my center hole it should be two inches which is what I have and then I know that the small holes are three quarters of an inch up or over in any direction and I can check this really fast and the important thing is is I'll be able to see if I have a, a silly error um, with the scale and that'll that'll prevent, prevent me from uh, making error at the machine. Now these lines are only for reference. We're going to be actually using the digital readout when we're 
doing the features, but if we have an error with our layout or if our readout were to have an error, we're gonna see a, a difference in the two and then we'll stop and be able to catch the mistake. So that's the whole point of layout lines is to lower your chance of making scrap parts.